Hello, it's Sunday, November 6, 2011, at 5.54 a.m. Central Daylight Time. And last night there was a, another earthquake in Oklahoma, a large one, a 5.6 that happened at 3.53 GMT. And this is most of the earthquakes that have happened in the last couple of days. We may have lost some of the gray ones here, but you can see that they're all clustered together here. What I want to show you is some visible satellite images that I captured right after the earthquake. Oklahoma is right here. And let me stop this. Whoop, that was the point. Unfortunately, it's night. <laughs> so we, we're not going to be able to see on visible satellite when it occurred, but I'm going to play this through so you can see kind of what led up to it. You can see this line going through here and it just goes into the dark so we really can't see very much. Well, here's something I want to show you. Watch here in Colorado and New Mexico. I'm going to go forward here. I'm just going to click through it. It looks like the end of this just explodes off. See that? And this piece that comes off here actually moves forward. And I'm gonna, I'll show you another radio, radar, but it's going to actually go into a spiral. over here to the infrared satellite. This is at 345 when the earthquake occurred. And you can see right here at Oklahoma City there's this bright white cloud, kind of a, I don't know, a rectangle type shape. And here's that, that rotation that I was talking about. At the same time over here we've got a cloud that, that's going into a rotation of sorts over here. So I'm going to go ahead and just let this play through so you can watch it and then I'll talk some more. Here's Colorado where that one's splitting off. Okay. Notice this little cloud down here. It just kind of shoots in. It's this. It's this over here. I watch it come back down again. There it goes. See it right there. And then it kind of merges over into here, shoots again. I know, I don't, can't figure out why. And it affects these two little clouds here. And those shoot up into here and become that white cloud. And this one's still following. Now watch what happens here in Colorado as I go through. Everything's kind of just going straight up. Something happens here. There's like a division that comes in. I'm going to go backwards. Actually from right that point right there. Let's zoom in. Go backwards a couple more frames. Okay, forward. You're going to watch it right there. And then this kind of all goes into chaos.
And now here you can see it's forming into a rotation. And here's the earthquake right here. So this has become kind of part of this tail. It's getting pulled up into this. I'm going to go back to the full frame and let it kind of go through again. And watch that little darting cloud also. It's hard to watch everything at once. But here comes a little cloud. It comes up into here. I've got a closer view of the infrared here. We'll let it go through. Here's that cloud coming. Here's Oklahoma. You can see the curly Q starting here and that getting pulled into it. And I'll stop it at the point of the earthquake right there. So then when I went and looked at it on water vapor, that was really interesting. Um, right here is the point of the earthquake. Here's Oklahoma and here's that bright white cloud. Oh, this is the College of DuPage, by the way. Um, let me go ahead and start it. I'm notorious for going backwards. <laughs> Sorry. You can also see in Colorado here that, that cloud. There it goes right there. Now I assume this dark area is a low moisture area coming up in. This is probably the strangest water vapor satellite image I've ever seen. Um, watch this curly Q here. It's, it's bizarre. It's almost, I don't know, surreal. See that? <laughs> and then down in here, there's like a whole sub-layer going on. Let me look at it. I don't know, maybe somebody else has seen this before, but I haven't seen. See down in here? Look at that. I don't know what it is. Actually, it looks like something just shoots out of here. See, there's a white... St Wait a minute, let's go slower. Let me put the time stamp up, too. Let it go up. No. Right. I would say it's the ground, but it just doesn't look like it. Here's a little white area starting right here. You can see it's not really moving. It looks like it's kind of growing. Here's another one starting right here. And it kind of explodes. And here's a couple here. I'm going to go back. This is New Mexico. And it looks like there's one here too. Let's go back. Huh. That almost looks like it's coming from here, but let's see. one right here in Texas. Let's go back again. Cause that's where that's that cloud that gets the bright white right at the point of the earthquake. It looks like an explosion of sorts. See, it doesn't even really fit in the 
scheme of things, you know, it's out of place. It looks like this is getting shot up into there is what it looks like. Let's zoom back out. Well, let's go ahead and just do the whole loop watching it from this point. Yeah, backwards again. It looks like something's getting shot up in through here, too. That's that bright one. I don't know what these things are that, that they're putting into the clouds, but they, they're getting carried along and... I don't know. Well, I do have one. It's not really even a theory. It's something that keeps coming before me, something the Lord keeps putting before me, and I'm not quite sure how it fits in. If I ran across this little graphic, it's only, I don't know, two seconds long. And down here it says, an animation depicting the double vortexes in a bipolar field. The twin vortexes spinning in opposite directions create standing waves in the golden mean spiral curve. And what's even more interesting is I had a friend just give me a little wind thing that's two of these. It's two veins, you know, one going this way and one going that. And um, I don't know if I'm allowed to play it or not, but just do a search on standing wave and it, it's not much. It just goes zoom and um, I don't know. And I, and I don't even know what to make of all these um, other things that are happening. Let me put some color on this one. I mean, maybe it'll make it more. One other thing I have, I didn't play it ahead of time, I didn't stage it, so I'm not quite sure where we're going to end up, but after the storm passed up north, this is, this is what we get. We get two lines. very strange and they're going into harp rings in here this one is very strange let's stop because here's a harp ring here the edge of one and here's one here this looks like it's up here in Duluth Minnesota this one here just an edge of one not a Sioux Falls I'm not sure where this one is Wisconsin, it looks like right in here. I forgot the name of that town. That's, those are just not normal clouds. And I think I've got the same thing in here in infrared. It doesn't want to go. It's got a load. See how it kind of breaks down? It's that long line, and then there's the spiral. And I think I got one more water vapor too. This is goes from goes up to 715. It starts at 1800 UTC, and it ends up on November 6, 715. And then I also have the water vapor of the same thing. I'll just play it through just for the record. Maybe. Sometimes my computer just gets a mind of its own. It 
So there you have it. I hope some of that made sense. And God bless you and be safe.